Advantage rafter. Game rafter. Three games off. Pat Rafter really having to fight on serve this time. He went to juice on the previous service game, having not gone past 30 all to that stage in the match. This last service game, Hoiberger really looked dangerous and made rather an easy error on the final shot there of the final point. So Pat Rafter, the number six seed, in a match now for the first time in the opening round. Hoiberger serving three games all. 15 long. Thirty long. Trying for every point, trying to get the break in this third set. Thirty. Oh. Thirty forty <laughs> juice. Advantage Hoiberger. Game, Hoiberger. Hoiberger holds on to serve and leads 4-3. Hoiberger leads four games to three. Third set, or after two sets to long. Well, this match took place earlier out on court number two. Uh, it's rain here at Wimbledon, I'm afraid, and the referee's office has just announced that play has been abandoned for the day, so no more play here at Wimbledon this evening. And that will be good news for the British number one, Greg Rosedski. He was out on court number one against the qualifier, Mark Draper, and Rosedski had won the first set but lost the second set and was down a break of serve in the third, trailing 5-4. So when play does resume tomorrow, then Draper will be serving for a two sets to one lead but at least Greg will have some more treatment and some more rest and hopefully will be a little more mobile than he was uh, out on court number one today but while the uh, Ivy Tower here at Wimbledon is in, in the rain over by the Eiffel Tower in Paris well there he is Des is basking in the sunshine and that's over on BBC one he's there for Scotland against Morocco that starts very shortly so Des is over on one but here on two we're going back to Hoiberger against Rafter Four. 
time. Well, of course, now with so much of the tennis played on surfaces other than grass, there is a great majority of people who are playing from the back of the court, and uh, I would get the feeling that Wimbledon's never seen so much backcourt tennis since maybe the 20s or the 30s, as you see now in the back in the on the backcourts in the first few rounds. Fifteen love. Fifteen love. Fifteen love. Well. Yes, look at this for a shot. That really is superb. second court well I, this time he finds the angle the cross court shot he's played the shot down the line with uh, almost regular monotony but that one caught rafter by surprise <laughs> 40 30 rafter relieved that that ball dropped just deep of the baseline it's the third game in a row where Rafters really had to fight on serve. And where Hoiberger has been a genuine threat. 40-30. Just his third ace to Rafters two. Ivo really stepping up uh, his game at this stage. Thirty long. Since the rain delay of some two hours from uh, three forty-five, Ivo Weiberger has really improved. Forty four. Okay. Must have some great Swiss coaches in the uh, locker room. Or maybe he had some Swiss cakes. Game. Oh, yeah. And that really is big serving. Hyperg leads five games to four, third set. Three Rafters aces. two sets to lock. In one game. Most impressive game on serve he's had mark. Yes, and he's hit those serves with such accuracy, not only power, but placement too. He's, I think he, he, he perhaps in his own mind has rationalized, well, he might as well go for it. He's going for broke, he's got nothing to lose. He's absolutely right, he hasn't got anything to lose. And he must uh, just be uninhibited, go for his shots. And his game has really gone up impressively in the third set. And he, uh, when you see him playing like this, you can see how he beat Todd Martin at Queens, which he won in two sets, and then... Uh, Stafford, he went on to beat him too. He's, uh, though he's 22 years of age, and, and, and some would say he's relatively mature in age, uh, he, he rather looks to me as though he's a player who has a lot of a, of a future ahead of him. It's uh, his first Grand Slam tournament, so he's short Time. of experience, and this match is going to stand him in extremely good stead. And he's now in the situation where... He could get a break of serve, and he's been threatening to do that this entire set. <laughs> and 
rough. It was going once too often wide for the first court. Hoiberger coming up with the goods. Really on a run. Rafter in a little trouble. And Pat Rafter must be Lot 13. wondering where he should be serving on the first point. He went wide to the forehand and it was met with an awesome winner down the line. That time into the backhand corner and the ball again coming back with interest. Lot 30, 4 5, the number six seed in trouble in this third set. Deep second serve, very short backswing, straight through the ball. And Ivo Hoiberger in his first Grand Slam event has three set points on the number six seed. Serve was short, laden with spin, and it just sat there in Hoiberger's forehand. A little tension. One set point save. 15-40. New balls, please. Change balls. Rafter leads two sets to one. Hey Mark, it was a continuation of the trend, wasn't it, uh, with Rafter being pushed on serve each of his last four service games, and uh, then Hoiberg with that magnificent service going to go ahead 5-4 and then brimming with confidence. Played a fine game then. Yes, I don't think it's a question of Rafter's game falling off. It's this man has, has really... Uh, raised his game considerably and uh, I mean he's really gone for his shots and they've all flowed from his racket created all sorts of problems for Rafter so it's going to be interesting to see whether he can sustain Pulsar. this high level play new balls Hoiberger serving first game of the fourth set let first serve Fifteen long. <laughs> so it's long. Uh, not only backs his serve, with, which is a good one, he backs it up with a fantastic smash, really. Hitting it very, very hard. 